Hi, my name is Dr. Lonnie Simpson, and today I'm going to talk about how the sun makes vitamin D with skin exposure to the sun. So here's what happens. Sounds like a detective story. Well, it kind of is. The UVB ray, which is a particular ray that is emitted by the sun, and it is in the non-visible light spectrum, strikes the skin, and when it strikes the skin, it interacts with cholesterol just under the skin. And after that, it becomes a pre-vitamin D. And then from there, it ends up being a vitamin D, vitamin D3. In fact, the same exact vitamin D3 that you can purchase at your health food store, cholecalciferol. From there, it, is, it is, goes into the blood. Then it is cleared from the blood by the liver. And it pops out as 25-hydroxyvitamin D. And at that point, by the way, that's where, if you're testing for vitamin D levels, that's the point at which you get tested, is for that 25-hydroxyvitamin D. Then it goes from back into the blood and is cleared by the kidneys. And the kidneys pop it out as the hormone 125-dihydroxyvitamin D. And this hormone has an amazing job in the body. It does so many things, but two of the main uh, jobs that the 125 dihydroxy vitamin D hormone does is that it increases calcium and phosphorus, phosphorus absorption by as much as 50%. So that's how we make that vitamin D. But we're also told you will have enough vitamin D as long as you go out in the sun, expose your arms and your face for 10 or 15 minutes, and that's all you have to do. It's stunning, but I don't get why so many doctors or so many uh, vitamin D experts are still saying this because it's just flat out not true for most people. It is true if you have very light skin and you're near the equator. Here's why. The UVB ray is attenuated very easily, meaning that it won't come through windows at all. That particular ray doesn't come through windows. And if it's at a 45 degree angle in the sky, you're not going to make vitamin D. So if you are in winter, such as we are in, in the Bay Area in California, where the sun is at an angle all day, we have vitamin D winter. We don't make vitamin D from November to the end of March. And even in April and May, very, very little because we are at very high altitude, uh, latitude. <laughs> so these are little important pieces to understand about the sun. And fog also, which is something that we get in the Bay Area, UVB rays won't come through that. Now, what if you have dark skin, really dark skin? Well, if you have really dark skin, you could have to be out in the sun as much as 6 to 12 times longer in the noonday sun to produce the same amount of vitamin D as light-skinned individuals. So, as you can see, there are many aspects to this vitamin D story. The problem is most people are deficient. I, I really don't like scare tactics. I don't like to say we have epidemics, but you know what? We do. I've tested 100 people uh, this year in 2009, even through the summer. Two people had sufficient amount of vitamin D, and that's because they were taking a significant amount of vitamin D orally. The good, thing, good news about vitamin D3 is that it is inexpensive. You can buy it at the health food store, and it's a great deal. I do recommend testing. I will deal with that on another uh, health tip section. But uh, testing is very important in my book. But without testing, a minimum of 2,000 uh, international units for children as well as adults is very reasonable. So that's your tip for today. Thank you. I'm Dr. Lonnie Simpson.